Dr. Gary Linkov of City Facial Plastics, and then today we're going to talk about Mohs nasal reconstruction. So Mohs is a procedure to remove a type of skin cancer from the nose, let's say. And once the dermatologist, who's a Mohs specialist, removes that skin cancer, there's usually a defect that's left behind. It can be of just the skin or the skin and cartilage. Those tissues need to be replaced. So frequently patients will come to me with this defect and I talked to them about different ways that we can close the hole essentially. So there are a couple of different strategies for being able to do this. One is to use a skin graft which is often not ideal because the contour of the nose is very three-dimensional. Skin graft will sink in so it becomes a concavity. So that's usually not the preferred option. Typically what I recommend is doing something called a skin flap to rotate the tissue from the nose in to close the defect. Now sometimes there's not enough tissue left behind on the nose and we have to recruit from other areas such as the forehead and the cheek are two common areas where we take tissue to close a nasal defect. After the procedure, many many weeks and months later, occasionally there's a need for either laser resurfacing of the scars and sometimes even a revision procedure to build up support to the nose or to revise any type of scarring that is less than ideal. Once again, Dr. Gary Linkov of City Facial Plastics.